السلام عليكم فرنس ويلكم باك تو تشانل يوني شغيز هي ان ان ذيس فيديو ام جوينغ تو شير ويز يو ماي جيت هاب بروجكت ات يور سوبر تشارج اور اندرويد ديفلوبمنت ليت جيت ستارت اي ويل بوت اول ذا لينكس ان ذا ديسكريبشن بيلو فور ذيس جيت هاب ريبوزيتوريز اي ويل ستارت ويز ذا فيرست وان ويتش از ذا اي او سكيدجول اب فور ذا جوجل اي او ايفنت ذيس ذا اوفيشال اندرويد ابلكيشن اند هير ذي ار دوينغ بيس ويز ذيس ديسكريبشن ذا مين فيتشرز وات تكنولوجيز ذي هاف يوز لايك فور اكزامبل ذا اركيتكتشر are using i think firebase kotlin you see all the best practices here in this kind of application and you will get to see the code source itself like you can download it and open it directly in android studio you will see how they are testing some features how they are structuring their app in a way that will help this project to grow you will see some deployment strategies they are using also some ar so you get to see many technologies in this kind of application definitely this is one of the application i always check in order to decide how i can do something so just download it in our android studio and start looking how they are doing and implementing certain things next project is compose sample so if you are learning about jetpack compose and you want to see some real example this repository contains many jetpack compose samples so there is this jet news the famous jet news jet chat jet survey you can like click on this and you will see here the example and how they are doing many things in this jetpack compose Thing. So this is a great way to learn Jetpack Compose and how to use Jetpack Compose with databases, repositories, VM, and so on. This is one of the best repositories for learning about Jetpack Compose. That's one thing. Another project that uses Jetpack Compose, which is also an amazing project, which is now in Android. In this project, where well, the main application is to show what is happening in Android world, like it will display content from the now in Android series, like basic blogs, YouTube videos, and so on. But for the development environment and the modernization, it was very great. Here, you can check this project in order to see how you can build, modernize, do architecture like they are using this architecture guidance. If you want to see an example of doing that, like UI domain data layer, you have to see this project. Of course, they are also doing some tests, so it would be a great way to see how they are testing some components like data store, view models, and so on. This is also an amazing project to learn about Jetpack Compose architecture, modularization, and so on. Next project, always from the Android team, which is the Sunflower with Compose. This is a gardening app illustrating Android development best practices. The previous way they used like normal XML view-based Android application but now they are using jetpack compose so it will be a great way also to learn jetpack compose here this is also a nice project to learn about many things about especially jetpack compose and how you do that transition now the previous project i think they are doing here yeah, exactly the previous project was focused on multiple jetpack libraries this one is no longer the case of development instead for dot compose and with view app with the view based app so just to put that in mind from the previous sunflower application which is a garden app And next, we move to another type of applications, which is the Android clean architecture. How do you, how you would implement clean architecture by Ankle Bob in Android world? All right, so this project, I think, is implemented by Fernando Sijas, I think. Yeah, Fernando Sijas. This project shows movies in the screen and how you can do it with clean architecture. So you'll see there is multiple blocks here, and you will see the code here. So they are doing this clean architecture diagram, famous diagram, how they are using this presentation domain, data layer, MVM. And so on. So this is a nice project to see how you can implement clean architecture guidelines in Android world. Next, we have also clean architecture sample by coding with Mesh. I think he has a course about that. Yeah, exactly. Here it is the course. So this is the public repo for that. If you are comfortable with reading the code, then you can go with that. Otherwise, you have to take this course for clean architecture. Use like normal example of to do or notes application in which you will store a local copy of those notes. And also, I think with Firebase thing. Yeah, exactly. Here it is. You would use like something like Firebase, Firestore in order to do that implementation for the network. Well, here is the credits of, of all his article he take from. He is using a different style for the for the presentation layer, which is uh, an MVI style, I think. I looked at the code here previously to saw how he's doing that. I learned a lot from this repository, of course, and you can do the same. Just download the repository and start reading how he is implementing certain things. And next we have the architecture component sample. Now, this is also a famous project. You use like there is some Kotlin and Java code here. You see how to use room, view models, like data paging and work manager, of course, view binding, why not, and so on. Now, this repo contains multiple projects. So if you want to learn about certain things, you can go and learn about it. If you want, for example, to learn about work manager, go here. You will see what they are doing here about the work manager and how they are implementing certain works. This is about architecture component sample. There is another repo, which is an Android architecture blueprint. This project showcases different architecture approach for developing Android apps. It uses like Jetpack Compose, Navigation, Flow, Kotlin, and multiple other things. 
like you can check this repo this is normal to do app but it uses everything here as you said in order to implement this kind of thing so this is also a nice project that is worth this time to take a look download it and see how they are doing certain things and finally the final project which is the tracker this is like issue tracker not the tracker of location and something yeah there is two versions of this app, like normal app and the app with Compose. So this project is basically for showing and exploring common UI patterns, All right? As I said, they are using two things, normal app, the app with Compose, and it will allow you to do like simple task management for the bugs, for the issues and so on. So this is also a nice project. They can download it in Android Studio and start seeing the code. Now, the common thing between all these projects is you have the ability to read code. Like this is the most essential skill for every Android developer. You have to get comfortable reading other people's code and understanding why they are doing some decisions, some trade-off in order to see how you can implement this thing by your own also. So that's it for this video. I hope this project will be useful to you. Like always, download this project, open up in Android Studio and start checking the code, checking the tests, checking everything in order to learn new things. Like every project will teach you something Every class will teach you something. Just learn about this kind of famous project. So thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.